Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Check. One suspect dead, one suspect arrested, one suspect got away, and a 70-year-old is in critical condition in Pensacola, Florida, after two drive-by shootings in less than a week. The feds is already there. You youngins need to pay attention. Share this video with all the youngins you know in all the inner cities that's carrying on with the violence because somebody have to tell them the feds are here. You do not, you do not, you do not shoot a 70-year-old victim, put him in critical condition in two drive-by shootings in one town in the United States and think that you're going to get away with it. They're labeling this as domestic terrorists. That's what they're labeling this as. So therefore, y'all need to know it's the same thing like the war on drugs. They're coming to get you. They're there. Please get out of it if you're in it. Stay away from it. Don't get involved if you're contemplating it. Let me play the intro, man, and then we're going to do this whole thing and get this thing popping. All right? Oh, before you do, make sure you hit the notification bell if you subscribed. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Hit the notification bell so you know when I put the videos up. It's summertime. I'm going to be busy. That's the only way to know when I'm going up. All right? You know what it is. Unique Mecca Audio, man. Check. It's out of control in Florida is what they're stating. They had two drive-by shootings in less than a week. There was a drive-by shooting last week. They did uh, one died dead, 21-year-old died dead. I think his name is Trevion um, uh, uh, Moten, you know, died last week. Then his homies went to roll for him and... They did another drive-by. This went out of control. It was a 70-year-old victim that was shot during this incident in Pensacola, Florida. You hear Pensacola, Florida? I used to go to Florida. Let me ride for a minute. I used to go to Florida back in the mid-'80s, you know, early-'90s. And when I went down there, Pensacola, Florida was a place where they had old Europeans that retired and old black people that retired that just wanted to get away from the violence and everybody wore their shorts and their button-up shirt, you know, and it, it, it was a peaceful place. Now I come home after 26 years in federal prison and this is what I'm witnesses, witnessing. I'm getting ready to play this video. This video right here is crazy. You understand? I'm going to play the video, and then we're going to talk a little bit about it more. This is not going to be long. I want to keep this one short to the point. Yo, you youngins in these uh, inner cities, big cities, small cities, small towns that's running around sliding and carrying guns and carrying on, the feds is going to put you away for decades, if not your life, man. They put me away for life plus 20 with no chance of parole. I went in, I rehabilitated myself, I came home, and now I'm trying to spread the message because when I sat in my cage for 26 years, I made a promise to the Almighty God that if he released me, I would help the youth to not create another unique. So if I could save one of y'all, then that means I honored I honored my word to God, and maybe, just maybe, I will be allowed behind the pearly gates up in heaven after all the craziness that I've done myself and witnessed, seen, didn't help, you know, in the whole nine because I stuck to the code of the street because it's two sides. It's the street side and it's the working side. You know how they say you got working class people? Okay. Now, when you go messing with working class people and you shoot a 70-year-old victim, you have a problem in America. Just so you understand, sit back, watch this video, pay attention to it, and please, if you know anybody that's out there carrying on in this manner, please share this video with them. I did 26 years in federal prison with a life 
plus 20 years sentence. I left a lot of comrades behind. Some been down 50 plus years already, still fighting a case to go home because they believe the only way to go home is to fight the courts with paper, period. Fight the courts with paper, not tell on your comrades so you understand. Let me play this video for you real quick so that you can see what is really going on here, man. A 70-year-old woman is fighting for her life right now. She was shot during a drive-by shooting on Eris Boulevard last night. Escambia County Sheriff Chip Simmons is calling it a retaliation shooting in response to another drive-by attack which left a 21-year-old man dead last week. Now, more than two dozen officers were involved in tracking down the shooters yesterday. The chase ended at the Highway 90 Bridge at Scenic Highway. Three suspects jumped from that bridge. One suspect, 22-year-old Trevion Moten, died in that fall. A second suspect was injured and arrested. A third, still missing. Jared Willits has the story. This is the dramatic ending to a high-speed pursuit which ended at the Highway 90 Bridge. Sheriff's deputies using a series of pit maneuvers to stop the people they say were in a stolen car and had fired shots about 6.30 Monday night. Minutes earlier, that shooting was captured on camera. You can see the shooter sticking his arm out of the back rear window of the vehicle. We know we had 40 rounds that were fired. The suspects sped off. Hot on their trail, Escambia County deputies, Pensacola police and troopers from the highway patrol. We are chasing killers at this point and we are not going to stop that's the first effort at a pit he survives that one crosses over i think he's injured one of his tires at that point our deputies do not give up we'll try to stop him again again our deputies know that there are three uh, would-be killers in this car once their car was disabled, the three masked suspects jumped out of the car. Two jumped over the left side of the bridge. One was injured. The second died from the 30-foot fall. A third ran to the other side of the bridge, jumping into the water. He is still missing. Sheriff body cam shows the swamp-like conditions as they look for the suspect. Deputy K-9 Streeter followed that third suspect into the water. He was injured, but is expected to be okay. He's a bit of a hero because he, he did what all the men and women at the sheriff's office do. They don't stop until they, they catch the bad guy. Do you see this, what is going on? Do you really see what is going on? How do we get here in America? And how do we fix the problem that we have in here in America? That's what I want to know. We need to really come together together. We need to work together to make our community safe again. We need to enlighten our youth to the consequences of their actions because they don't know. They're going to continue to do this until more people speak up. There's plenty of room on YouTube for other people to push the agenda that Unique Maker Audio is pushing. If anyone needs any assistance in starting a positive, let me say that again, positive YouTube channel, please contact me. My number's on the screen. If you got any stories you'd like me to report on from your neighborhood, from, you know, wherever you see on YouTube or wherever you see anywhere, please send it to that number right there or put the link in the comment and I'll look at it and we're going to move from there. Now, like I said, a 70-year-old is fighting for their life after a drive-by shooting in Pensacola, Florida. Pensacola is supposed to be a retirement home for American citizens to get good weather 24-7. Where, where, where do we disrupt the elderly from, you know, resting in peace after retirement if we bring this type of behavior there? How do we stop this? What are we going to do? We They took us away. We knew no better. So right now, we're the example of a screw-up. So now I'm trying to prevent the youth from screwing up, and I need your help. Instead of putting negative comments and being rat bastards and flip-flop wearing and public trolls sliding, you know, let's get this thing together, man. Let's get this thing together. Let's work together. Let's do this as one. Now, a 20-year-old man is dead, you know, was shot last week in a drive-by shooting. 
over there in Pensacola, Florida. And this was the retaliatory shooting, <clears throat> excuse me, from another drive-by shooting, you know, a week before, right? Which left a 21-year-old man dead and his comrades went to slide for him. And an innocent civilian was shot. Now they're having townhouse meetings, town hall meetings. The FBI is there. The, you know, the, 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 the DEA is there. They didn't even say the DEA is there because none of this is about money. None of this is about money. We did this because we was in poverty and there was limited jobs, not to mollify to make any excuses, just telling you the reason and the difference. We was chasing a false god, the mighty dollar. I want to know, somebody put it in the comments, what is the youth chasing, busting their gun? Please tell me. We chased the dollar. We was wrong. I apologize to my community for being blinded by the dollar and making the dollar my god and poisoning the very community that our families and children live in. I apologize for that. But somebody, please help me understand, because I've been gone for 26 years in federal prison. What is the youth chasing, busting their gun, getting extendos? What? Somebody, please help me. You know what I mean? It took, look, it was more than 24 officers was involved in this, uh, you know, in, in this manhunt for these three suspects that I just showed you what was going on. It was more than 24 officers was involved in tracking down the shooters, you know, when that happened. The chase ended at the scenic highway bridge on Highway 90. That's supposed to be a scenic laid back route for retired people that want to get away from the younger people, the violence. And now the grandkids are in these towns. The children of the retirees are in this town, and no one is teaching them any better. So I'm here to try and do my duty as I promised to God while I was in my cell for 26 years. What do we do at this point? You know what I mean? The adults is worse than the youth. That's where they learned it from, the parents, because we was locked away. We followed all types of you know, codes and, you know, and, and morals and, you know, because we chose a different life. So in the civilian world, in the workers' world, that's a false code. You're supposed to be able to live together with your people as one, you know, period. And that's how that's supposed to be. Now, somebody, two suspects, John, listen to this. Two suspects jumped from the bridge. One suspect died from the jump. The other one got away, and the one that uh, 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 that jumped, that made it or whatever, uh, the one got arrested, you know, and he's in custody. I don't even know if he got caught jumping. I think he was the one that they showed running in the video. But where do we go from here? How do we help the youth? Somebody please tell me. Now, I'm going to let you know the intro again. This is in Pensacola, Florida. One suspect dead, one suspect arrested, one suspect got away, and a 70-year-old is in critical condition in Pensacola, Florida after two drive-by shootings in less than a week in America, in Florida, supposed to be the retirement sunshine state. What are we going to do, people? Put it in the comments how we can help this. Like I said, if you got any stories, I'm, you see I got my little news brass start, uh, set up, so I'm going to keep it short to the point, so I'm not even going to be here because I want you all to focus on the story. Make sure... If you haven't already, you cop the book, Aurora in Harlem. It's at auroraandharlem.com, and it's on Amazon at Aurora in Harlem. But you can go to Google and Bing at auroraandharlem.com, or you can call the number on the screen, and I will get you the book. I may even sign it, too, you know? But right now, y'all got to stop this, man. We have to come together and work with the youth, man. Gunshots, gunshots, gunshots. Where's my people at? We don't need to criticize each other on YouTube. I'm not coming up here to promote violence, to talk trash about anybody. I just report on the news because I know a lot of you young people and elders is not even watching the news. So I decided to create my own unique Mecca Audio news station. I'm going to bring you news from, you know, throughout the nation so that maybe, you know, you'll see the news this way 
because no one is even inside watching the news because if they're inside, they are outside, they on their phone scrolling and playing with YouTube and, you know, doing what they do. All right? So let me end this now, man. Been on here long enough. I cheers, 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 the crime, the crime, the crime, the crime, the crime, the crime. The crime. Hey! Shot the can of 26, he back on the strip, getting back in the mix, what he mentions a gift, you stand up 10 toes down and I suggest you pay attention to this, take a little gully posse and put it in hall, he cut from the bottom, came up from the bottom, drop the book, you should go and get it, an Instagram page and a YouTube, you could go and visit, then you could consider yourself LinkedIn, sit front row and get juice from a kingpin, how he went through it so you ain't gotta go do it, to not pay attention would be stupid, talking about a man that probably put your grandfather on Probably the reason that him and your grams got along A man that generated millions on the block Did his time, never squilling to the cops Make an audio hey. Get it live like two G's in the night. Drop top beamer so shine. I let shorty go, she was wine. Treat her like my past, she behind. Spin a couple bands on the dapper again. You be back again, getting green like a Packers fan. No cap, it's a roaring uptown. Baby horn uptown, Dominican bust down. Now we on the positive, you we got a lot to give. Now you trying to stop the kids from being inoperative. So take heed, homie, lend it in. He started in uptown, he gon' finish dead. But now it ain't about selling drugs, buying cars. It's about buying property to make the community ours.